Installing Rocksmith 2014 under Wine. It's kind of awkward. I'm going to walk you through it. Start with the new Wine prefix. I believe using Wine 1910 staging, so meh. I don't know if staging is important, I don't think so. First thing you want to do, set to Windows 10, pretty important. That's all we want to do in there. Then we want to go to regedit. H key current user, software, wine. We're going to create a new thing because it doesn't start there for some reason. New key. It's going to be drivers with a capital D. And under there, we're going to do a new string. Audio with AUDIO with a capital A. And we're going to set it to ALSA. Pretty important. Uh, close out of that. Then, I already have Rocksmith installed, so you want to go to wherever you installed Rocksmith to. Find the Rocksmith any right there. You want to make sure exclusive mode and Win32 ultra low latency mode are both set to zero. Those are pretty important. And under the Pulse Audio volume control, because I assume you're using Pulse Audio, you want to go to configuration, you want to turn off the Rocksmith guitar app adapter right there. It's going to start like analog mono input, you don't want that. Turn that off and close out of that crap. Let's see. Then you can start up Rocksmith. Rocksmith 2014. I just can't hit test because, you know. Wait, let me grab my base. I have since acquired it. Welcome to Rocksmith 2014. Have played Rocksmith before? Yes. So, you're already pretty uh, familiar. No. All right. Now let's do base. Plan right handed. Give this Bubba. one a shot. Awesome. Let's move on. Before we dive into playing songs, let's check your levels and get you tuned up. We're going to bring up a calibration meter here in a second. When you see it, play your strings hard and fast to make some noise. Do that until we tell you to stop, then cover the strings to mute them. Okay, here goes. Oh, wait, it says mute strings. Ha! <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, go ahead and tune. Oop, that was a little bad. Come on now. It's close enough. All right, sounds great. Now, let's play each string one more time, just to double check that you're good to go. All right, now you're ready to take on rocks. Nope, yep. And that's it. See, this is the guitar. Audio sounds fine. Can you go play Larry's song? song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all sounds fine. Oops, uh, no, I don't want to put that. Get rid of this. Wait. Close that. There we go. So, I get asked quite a bit about Jack Audio, because I do have it running, and whether it makes a difference with Rocksmith. And the answer is, I do not know. I don't think it does. The only reason I run Jack Audio is so I can run real-time effects. 
All I'm doing is simply running Pulse Audio on top of Jack. It's pretty easy to set up. I don't think it makes a difference, but I don't know. So, if you want to run Jack, there's plenty of tutorials on the internet. I'm not going to do it myself, I'm sorry. That should be about it.